trigger warning. This is Ben Shapiro thug life. The thug life chose me. They had a Palestinian terrorist, convicted terrorist, a couple of years ago, right? They had, they actually had a, a woman named Rasmia Oda speak on campus a couple of years ago. She's actually a convicted terrorist. So I, I really have, I think it has very little to do with what I'm saying and much more to do with the idea that these administrators are so gun shy of controversy that they, they don't want to tell their own students to, I mean, what they really should tell the students is, guys, you, you seem a little bit excitable. Hand out some free pot. Everybody will just come down a little bit and then everything will be all right. But life you must speak the language of morality the left wins because nobody on the left knows anything about politics they know you're evil that's it they know you're a racist sexist bigot homophobe who hates the poor <laughs> right that's what they know about you and it's not they think that about you they know that about you deep down they know all these evil things about you which is why thanksgiving dinners are always so awkward if you're unfortunate to have jewish relatives or or you have friends on the left which are the the, the exact same <laughs> focus group the People don't vote with their heads, people vote with their hearts. So, go after what people feel. Go after the language of morality. Socialism is not a good idea that went wrong, and whenever you hear Republicans or conservatives say this, it's because they have the IQ of a kumquat. Socialism was a horribly <laughs> evil idea that went completely right. It went exactly as they thought it was going to go. This was the design from the start. Gotcha, bitch. Socialism is a fundamentally immoral, evil, unfair, discriminatory, and, and disgusting system that violates off the bat three of the Ten Commandments, right? You don't steal, God, not government, and you shouldn't be jealous of your neighbor's ass, right? That's the, the, the that's the, in, in the actual language, correct? Yes. Not the Bill Clinton language. So, these are, these are the terms that we should be speaking. These are the terms that hit young people. Because young people, don't, nobody has the time to read all of the, the entire editorial page of the Wall Street Journal. Nobody does. Everybody's attention span is five seconds long. So if you can't make people feel good about being conservative, make them feel really, really bad about, feel, about being leftist. You know why? They deserve to feel bad about being leftist. They're siding with an evil ideology. Let's go to the next call. Hi, this is Ben Shapiro, and I was just wondering, your, your production values are fabulous, and I was wondering where you got your money. Was it, was it from Soros, or was it from anti-freedom nations in the Middle East like Qatar? Shekel collecting. Whoa. My money, fuck your money. We're trying to have a discussion. You want to talk about money? All you Republicans, you fucking want to talk about money? It's bullshit. Thug life. Have you ever been told before that you talk fast? Oh, all the time. I can't stop it. It's it's and and it's 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 unfortunate. I've been really working on it for a long time, but uh, again, uh, okay. So I, I will fall into the the Jewish stereotype. I'm a Jew. Jews talk fast. And two. My, uh, my parents talk extremely quickly. So everybody in my family, we sit around the table, and, and it, sounds like, uh, it sounds like everybody's on fast forward all the time. Eventually, we actually hit chipmunk speed, and then we go silent, and we go back in time. One time, we ended up back in 1955, and I had to, I had to make sure that my parents met and that I was born eventually. It was wild. I really hate the trip, but I got a low. As they croak, I see myself in the pistol smoke. Fool, I'm the kind of cheater, little homie. Thug life. And I think what's really important here is that if we don't speak to the voices of the 14 to 24 year olds, we don't listen to the millennials and what they're saying, then we're tragically doomed to repeat the history of bigotry and prejudice that has really what impacted about that, our society. Ben? I mean, is there any value to oh. saying be, that, that, there, that there is some inherent bias, this, this sort of fear of difference, of something that seems other, uh, and, and that the, the, it's valuable to sort of look at that and try to call attention to it so we can stop it? How about combating actual acts of racism? How about singling out racism and then actually doing something about it as opposed to doing this kind of Marxist newspeak in which we go through everybody's hidden actions? I'm sensing, I'm sensing a real sort of underlying, I don't know, racial bias to this whole segment. Robert, I find you to be racially biased. I find you to be insensitive, bigoted, and misogynist based on everything that you've said. It may be hidden. Maybe I can't detect it, but we all know it's there. Thug life. There's only one group of people, one group of people, who want safe spaces that are race specific. There are only one group of people that want safe spaces so that they never have to hear from anybody of a different ideology or political persuasion. Those people are called fascists. 
Okay, you've got a bunch of fascists, damn fascists on this campus, who are trying to shut down political debate and trying to cloister themselves in this little cocoon of stupidity so they don't have to debate anyone or think about issues outside their kin so that they can feel comfortable. Guess what? Life isn't about feeling comfortable. Life is about bettering yourself. Get off your ass, you stupid pansies. Thug life. And they found her sitting on the floor. In her, her five-year-old son was wrapped in one, of her, in one of her arms. What was in her other arm? A shotgun. That's right. She was carrying a shotgun in her other hand, waiting for the cops to enter. Around 3 p.m. after several hours of negotiation, police say Gaines raised the gun at officers and told them she would kill them if they did not leave, at which point the officers shot her. So they fired one round at her. She fired several rounds back at us. We fired again at her, striking and killing her. Tragically, in this circumstance, the child that was also in the dwelling was struck by a round. The of course, everybody is going nuts, right? Oh my God, Rem remember, Corngate, say her name. I have an idea. Don't try to fire a shotgun at the cops, you human piece of crap, and don't do it while you're holding your baby in your other arm, you double human piece of crap. Oh, shit! Thug life. If you're far enough left, if you're a devotee of Howard Zinn, which Ben Affleck is, and you believe that America bears collective guilt for all the sins of the past and there is no repentance, then of course you would attempt to escape that collective guilt by saying, well, my ancestors were never a part of that. That really is the only logical reason behind this, because, look, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Your ancestors did things that are wrong. Pretty much everybody's ancestors did things that right. were bad. That's the point. We've progressed beyond that. And if Ben Affleck can't see that, then that's the real tragedy in all of this. Wait, I mean, this aside from the fact that he was in Reindeer Games and has been cast as Batman, which is its own tragedy thug like and truth by the way must never be compromised for any purpose okay no compromising on the truth i've been getting a lot of flack in this particular particular election cycle because people perceive that i'm not rah rahing on donald trump as as strongly as they would wish me to be the reason that i'm not The reason that I'm not rah rahing Donald Trump is because I don't rah rah people, I rah rah their ideas. Okay? The f it's not my job or your job to shill for anybody. It's your job to represent the truth. It's your job to tell the truth. Okay? If somebody murders somebody and then I go tell the cops about it, it's not my fault if the murderer goes to jail. It's the murderer's fault if the murderer goes to jail. If Donald Trump doesn't want me to criticize him, he can stop doing dumbass things. <laughs> Thug -like. Daniel writes, would you rather do an episode of your show topless or say one genuinely nice thing about Hillary Clinton? Well, for your sake, you should hope that I would rather do an episode of the show topless because I'm a huge stud. It's the one thing that people don't know about me is that I work out pretty much every day and underneath this, this nerdy exterior lies the body of a Greek god. I am ripped, gang. Thug like the government now came out and they said that bread, the salt content in bread, is making people oh, yeah. fat. Right? Absolutely. Well, who do you think has been pushing bread for the last 20 years? I, I, I did a piece on this. The food pyramid, the, feder the federally funded food pyramid. Right, the bottom of that pyramid. <laughs> grains. Yeah. Six to oh, yes. grains. Right, it's six to eleven servings That's of right. grains. And where, where was, where does that come from? From the U.S. Department of Agriculture, which is doing kickbacks to the farmers in Iowa. Right. So I mean, this whole they've been making us fat for 20 years, and they turn around and say, hey, by the way, you're getting fat because of what we told you. Now, how about we handle your health care? <laughs> yeah. You better check yourself or your Thug like. Ladies and gentlemen, Ben Shapiro. Well, I mean, uh, uh, of course, one government policy leads to the next. If you raise the minimum wage, then it's going to raise the rents. When it raises the rents, you're going to have to build affordable housing. When you have to build affordable housing, you have to tax people to build the affordable housing. When you tax people to build the affordable housing, people move out of the city, and you have to raise taxes on the people who remain in the city. And this is how you hollow out the economy of a major metropolitan area in the United States. Only. Uh... Thug like Ben, <laughs> do you agree that uh, the religious liberties of Mr. McGrath were violated, or that? You know, I mean, I, I just have church. one question: By whom? The Boy Scouts. Okay, so in other words, you, you, just to make sure I'm getting this, you, your your position on this is that you have the right to volunteer into a relationship with them, but they have no right to volunteer out of a relationship with you. Um, in a partnership, in partnerships, in consensual partnerships that I'm in, anyway, 
we have a conversation about the contract. I signed a lot of papers. We are in contract together. Were you so unaware we that they were that they that they had a position like this about gay Boy Scout leaders? Were you really unaware of that? Were they really? unaware of our policy? Evidently, they were because they signed us up. Correct. They were unaware, and you weren't. So that so, means they got out of the contract. You can't form a contract based on non mutual consent. Done. <laughs> Thug like. Because you say that you respect the Second Amendment, and you yeah. know, I brought this here for you so that you can read it. It's the Constitution. And I, I would really like for you to explain to me what you would do about guns that would have prevented what happened in Sandy Hook. If you want to do what you did in the UK, right, which is ban virtually all guns, that is at least a fair argument. And we can have a discussion about whether that's something that we ought to do well, or I've not. Made it very Here's avoiding decade. the breakdown of left and I've right I've deliberately here tried is, is to frame this as a left-wing attack on the American Constitution and the Second Amendment. It's exactly what you've tried to do. You come in, you brandish your little book as if I don't know My what's little book, there. that's the Constitution yeah. of the United States. Our founding well, document I know what's in your Constitution. Do you really? I've been debating this for a very long time. And be lazy, never use a messy recipe. The cake will end up crazy. Let me see you back it up. Drop that ass down, load it, pick that motherfucker up. Well, bring it down, bitch. Let me see you back it up. Drop that ass down, load it, pick that motherfucker up. Now back that pussy, cheese a motherfucker. Hey, back that pussy, cheese a motherfucker. Now back that.